Hi, I'm George McClure, and this is Listen Up TV. We're here at the Cedia 2013 Expo in Denver with Chris Brunhaber of Sony. Chris, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Oh, my pleasure, thank you. Uh, I know 4K is the big news of this show, and Sony has, you have a couple new uh, flat panels, uh, 4K uh, resolution. Please tell us about those. Yeah, so we're excited to announce some additional 4K offerings in our line. Uh, we have two new models. So we have our X850 available in both a 55 and 65 inch models. Uh, it's actually the very same technology uh, from our award-winning um, X900A series. And what we've added is, um, well, we have a new type of 3D glasses. So we have full 4K resolution uh, active shutter glasses. And we also now have them available without the front mounted speakers. So uh, with a slimmer bezel, which is I know our customers are excited about as well. Those are available uh, at $500 less than the 900. And so we have a price point of uh, $5,000 uh, uh, $5, rather than $5,500 you know, versus a 900. Yeah. So you have a 55 and a 65, you say? That's correct. Yeah. Great. And how so? You've also got a little bit more affordable 4K projector coming out, also. Yeah, you know, it's very much the same idea uh, as the TV. We we um, launched our flagship a VW1000 projector here two CDs ago, and we're excited to announce an update to that with uh, HDMI 2.0 capability and 60 frame uh, per second support there. Now we've added a little brother, and that's called the VPL VW600ES. Uh, that that product um, comes in at fifteen thousand dollars, and so it re represents a substantial step down in price, but really, you know, maintaining much of that same quality uses the same 4K panel as as the the larger model, and, and we're highlighting that here on a 180-inch screen in the theater and, and blowing some minds, I think. So. Well, I say the demos I've seen, the 4K makes such a difference. I mean, it looks great on the flat panels, but when you blow up to the big screen with a front projection system, it's, it's just superlative. Yeah, the 4K really lends itself towards that big screen immersive experience. Yeah. That's great. Now, I know Sony is also real high on their new high-resolution music player. Can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, I, I'm, an, I'm an audio person myself, and so it's got a special place in my heart. So, you know, Sony was founded as an audio company, and um, one of the exciting announcements we had here as of the last couple of weeks is we've brought together um, the major studios. So we have um, Sony Music Entertainment, Warner Music, Universal Music have come together to release uh, for license their back catalog of high-res recordings as digital downloads. So we're bringing the very highest quality available, the Studio Masters, available as a simple download that can be used however you would like, including on our, uh, we have a great line of new high resolution audio products centered around that. So we have three models we're launching here at Cedia, uh, the flagship of which is called our HAP Z1ES and represents an extremely high performance audio experience uh, and a very easy to use way. So. That's great. Well, as so many people seem to be so focused on convenience these days, it's really nice to see Sony going back to their roots with uh, higher quality sound, high resolution sound. Uh, what are some of the characteristics of some of these new music players in terms of resolution? Well, you know, our, um, our, our philosophy is to play everything. So this is not a format launch. It is just making available a multitude of high resolution formats depending on what was used in the studio. So this is as it was intended in the studio. So that includes, you know, we'll play, you know, WAV files and FLAC files and AUG and, and uh, DSD and ALAC and all kinds of things. And what that means is we can take any of your content and play it on our device in a very simple way. And so uh, actually the same engineer that um, designed our, our flagship SCD-1 SACD player is the one who designed the Z1ES. And so it is really a tour de force as far as the, the audio performance goes. The, the digital analog converter portion and analog portion is really stellar. And so it's uh, really, whatever you put into it's gonna sound great. Yeah. Well, it's nice that Sony was able to work with these other music companies to get some of the back catalog, because obviously content is a big issue. If you don't have any content, there's nothing to listen to, but it sounds like they're working on that, and there's going to be quite a bit of uh, this, this higher uh, quality content available. Well, and, and that's the wonderful thing about audio, is there is um, years and years and years worth of content that is available now. And so it ends up being uh, very much, um, you know, not a content issue, it's a convenience issue. And we're doing a lot to make that, you know, by decoupling the format from the medium. So no longer is this DSD tied to a disc or high res tied to a computer or something. Uh, we now are freeing that up for customers to have a real convenient way to, to access it. So, Great. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks so much. My pleasure. That's Chris Brunhaver of Sony. I'm George McClure, and this has been Listen Up TV.